lang sa mensahe ng pagkakaisa kahit saan po kami pumunta. Dahil po naunawaan ng Pilipino na pagkakaisa ay ang unang hakbang para makabalik tayo sa ating mga normal na buhay at pagandahin uli natin ang mga buhay natin. Kasi kung kung totoo ang ang inaano nila kay BBM, dapat noon pa bakit ngayon kung kailan tatakbo si BBM sa kanila inuungkat yung mga ganyang isyu. Bigay ko rin kay Jimmy, kawasan ng bala. More than three decades since the ouster of the Marcos uh, dictatorship, uh, their family is poised to uh, retake uh, their position in the pinnacle of political power in the country. And um, uh, the most divisive uh, political brand has appropriated the message of unity and hope. The uh, proclamation of martial law is not a military takeover. But I think just before, so why not? Ponte lang yun, mas marami sa bukayan. The most famous of all, the 1,700 pairs of shoes. The first, the first one is Jan Mark Having been elected to the position of Senator of the Republic of the Philippines. They want to revisit the golden age of the Philippines. That's what they what that's what the Marcos is propagating online. A lot of people are fascinated, not because of him per se, but because of the memory of his father's rule. Although a lot of the young people now didn't experience it, but because of the propaganda being repeated over and over again, they thought that, oh, the Philippines was better off before. So we're not just talking about the history of what the father has done, but it is also what kind of president do we want? Do we want somebody who is competent, who is not a liar, who pays taxes? who helped us during the pandemic, and more importantly, who loved the people and who have shown it in various ways during these past years. And it is not Marcos Jr. Definitely, it is not Marcos Jr.